Hello you wonderful wondering wonders out there in Oz. What a shitty start to 2023. Who agrees? I think everybody in Oz would agree that we're having a very shitty, shitty start to year 23. And I think personally, if you ask me, I think it's designed to start out like that to be like that and to end up like that if you allow it. And what I mean by that is you wonderful wondering wonders out there is that if you look, how many challenges have come on board in 2023? I mean, we, we know that they're there, okay? We've always known that these problems are there, but they seem to have escalated you know, uh, to a point now that nobody, well, nobody can really deny the fact that these problems are here. That's as clear as like the nose on one's face, as one would say. And that's what's shitty about the whole damn thing, is people aren't meant to be pissed off about everything that's happening in the year 2023 in Oz, okay? And while the masses are out there, and I don't care whether YouTube, they may ban this, I don't know. The algorithm may not like it, who knows? But what I'm saying is that the masses out there are turning a blind eye to a lot of things. And you, you've got to, you, 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 I mean, you've got to admit that. It's, it's, it's one as, Clear as the nose as one's face would say. <laughs> that's a good saying, eh? And with everything that's happening in Oz, it's like, it's sending people cuckoo. It's designed to send you to the point where you're so depressed, so there's like you feel a feeling of being helpless, like there's no... Uh, and you'd be damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't, basically. And I think a lot of people are in that stalemate now, and we're going into April, you know, and um, people are really now getting to the point they're mentally fatigued after how many years, two, three years of everything, slowly grinding to the point now it's, escalating and it's like it's out of control and I think a lot of people feel that pressure and if it's not one thing and it's an, another thing in 2023 if it's not your health it's whether you lose your home do you have a job are you sick with COVID are you gonna you know able to feed your family you know are you gonna have a mental breakdown or are you gonna step out on the street, get run over by some crazy, you know, or are you going to maybe get attacked on the street? Who knows? I mean, this is the world we're living in, Oz. You've got to admit that. And we're not supposed to get pissed off. We're not supposed to get irritated. We're not supposed to get annoyed. Yeah, we bloody well are. And it's only human that you do that. But what I think's happening now is personally, if you look at it, a lot of people are escaping reality into a false illusion. More, they're more droned out. They, they want to escape reality. They don't want to face reality. And it, it shows, it's taking its toll, especially in this year, 2023. And it's it's not there's no magical fix or no magical answer but a lot of things I think that are, are actually uh, to do with society um, people are copping out with on, on like mental health like there's a lot of people out there that really sincerely need help and they're denied it or they can't get that support because it costs too much you know it's 
like they can't see a doctor and if they do does that doctor bog bill as i've said on all my tubes if you look back and i'm only a very small platform very small i will never grow only i've got maybe 140 subscribers and that's wonderful but i won't be this multi-million dollar platform you know with ads paid and all this sort of shit and i don't want to be that i'd love to be that but i'm not that but the thing is everything i've said on my tubes has led up to everything and if you look at the tubes i've made about medicare bob hawk what he believed in why it was created and how it's ended up is, well, if it's not privatisation to the doctors, it's certainly in their bloody favour. You've got to admit, how many poor Joes, working Joes, have got to pay? Or if not, they can't see a doctor or they can't see a new doctor, you know, and that's bloody pitiful for people here. And that's uh, a suppression and people are suppressed and through their health, they're suppressed. So your mental health isn't being addressed. While there's other people out in the bloody community committing bad crimes, murders and whatever else, and stabbings, and they say they got a mental health, mental health issue, but are they dealt with? No, they've been, you know, most of the time in court. And that's where it goes back to these bloody magistrates being too too soft on these people that proclaim, it was all my head. You know, I have mental health issues. Okay, but does it give you the right to go out and kill somebody? An innocent paramedic? Died, stabbed? How many times? Through, what, a person saying, what, they have mental health issues? Yeah. But what? So when that person, or people like this person, gets into court, what happens? They're let off because they've got a mental health issue. Oh, that's what I believe. You know, stick it. Because it doesn't make sense where people are suffering. Normal Joes are suffering and they can't get access when there are people out there that sincerely need bloody help. While these other people are proclaiming, oh yeah, I've got mental health, but meanwhile I can kill somebody, I can stab them to death, and once I get back into the court system, oh yeah, well, you know, it's like this. Now nah, that's crap, and it stems back with the court system too. The magistrates are too uh, lenient on these people. They proclaim it's or on mental health, that's crap, crap, crap. And I think a whole lot of people in the nation would bloody agree with this. I do. So why people are out there that are trying to address their health issues, whether it be mental health or physical or whatever the case may be, they're being denied or they have to pay for it. So most of the time, they don't end up seeing a doctor. They don't end up getting their health concerns addressed. How many Joes are suffering in there, you know, out there with their teeth? How many people can afford to go to the dentist now, yeah, without relying on the public health system? That's overloaded, you know, and people, they can't go and see a doctor. They can't afford to go and see a bloody doctor because these doctors... Oh, hang on, we don't do Medicare. Pull out your wallet, buddy, because that's all we're interested in. Oi, it's 15 minutes and no more. Out you go. Well, you know, I think that stinks. Why a lot of people are in that situation and the government says that they're trying to help ordinary strains, ordinary Joes get ahead. Oh, I don't believe so. I don't believe a lot of people believe that either. They believe that's bull twig, bullshit, bull dung. Any which way you look at it. So, you know, a lot of things now are on pressure, you know, and there's, there's no relieving anything. 
There's no release, you know, and things are getting worse. And with Medicare, if it doesn't get addressed, with these doctors that seem to, oh, well, you know, charge uh, like a wounded bull and that and don't use Medicare and so forth, and they're only interested in the dollar because what do they say? Well, we can't really run our practice. How many times have I heard that? Or oh, doctors. Uh, that's crap. Well, I see my doctor and they, they do do Medicare and they're sincere about caring for people, you know. So that's the difference. There's doctors out there that don't give a damn about the ordinary Joe. Whether it be mental health, physical, whatever the case may be. So I think Labor, Anthony Albanese, if you're listening to this, get your bum out of your finger, right? And get yourself back into, you know, issues of New South Wales, you know, that need to be bloody well addressed here now, not in six months' time or a year's time or, hmm, let's see, you know, we'll all have to go back at a round table and decide about things. That's crap. You are Prime Minister. You have the right of way. You can do something for Medicare and the people of Oz now. So that is important. And for Labor, they say, you believe in helping the Australian people? Well, bloody will prove it. Because I keep saying that on my channel, bloody will prove it, Anthony Albanese. Because at the moment, people, Australian people, are hurting very, very badly. And a lot have, you know, um, psychological issues. They need counselling. But they can't get counselling. Because they have to pay for it. Or it's not, not backed by Medicare. Or it's not done this, or it's not that. Or well, a lot of people, thousands and thousands of people are looking towards the Labor government to resolve these issues. Because now, more than ever, in the year 2023, is designed to screw people. Screw you to the wall if it lets you, if you let it. You know, and there's only so much faith and hope people can cling to before they do. They do need intervention. They do need to talk to somebody. They do need to release that. They do need to talk to somebody. They do need networks and support services. But there's nothing out there unless they pay for it, right? That bloody well stinks. It stinks. You think about it. Oh, you know, I, I, you know, Oz, when I do a tube now, I kind of sit back for a while and see what's happening. And, you know, like, um, there's so many things happening in, in Oz, let alone the world. I mean, I stick to Oz because everything I talk about is of Oz. But the one thing I am going to say is that the, uh, whether I think, you know, and I put it out there, I was so disgusted to see the Dalai Lama uh, uh, do what he did uh, and say what he did, uh, you know, um, you know, kiss me and uh, suck my tongue to a, li a little child. That, to me, was bloody alarming. But no, you've heard no more about it, right? <laughs> Bloody unbelievable, you know? So I just wanted to say that because, you know, we have so much now that, you know, if we don't allow ourselves to be drawn back and alerted to it, we drone out. And a lot of people are expected to burn out this year, drone out because they're tired, fatigued, mentally, mentally tired and getting, getting mentally, mentally sick and depressed, you know. 
And that's where the government, Labor, step in with Medicare so the ordinary Joe can see the doctor without paying the astronomical fees that they have to to see a doctor for 15 minutes. You know, you are the Prime Minister, you can intervene. You know you can. You don't have to wait for the other ministers and the health ministers to come on board. You know, you don't have to. You, you can do it here, now, tomorrow. So we'll bloody, we'll do something, Anthony Albanese, or a lot of people are going to go down this year because of depression, sickness, and to be quite honest, they didn't, they voted Labor in because they bloody believed in Labor would help them and lift them up out of this crisis. And we're in a crisis for 2023. Don't worry, let alone the yes or no voice. That will be resolved. That will get done. But what needs to be done and dusted now is people in Australia, the ordinary Joe, their health, whether it be mental health, physical health, they need that intervention now because the ordinary Joe in Australia is suffering. And a lot of people voted for Labor. And it'd be very disappointing to think that Labor is, you know, what, falling among deaf ears. You can't hear what's going on in society. Crap. That, that's all I'm going to say, Oz, because I sit back, I watch, and then I pounce. The thing that things that happen that I find are concerning, a bloody alarming for you guys out there, the ordinary Joe. And as I said, I'm not going to be a big platform, never will be, unless an overnight miracle, hallelujah. <laughs> but <laughs> that ain't going to happen. But while I've got my channel and while it's up and running, I will say what I know Australia needs to hear and to have validation in this because little platforms like me, a lot of people sideswipe and they don't view it. Okay. But the ones that do are lucky because they really know that my channel is fighting for the little Oz, the little battler here in Australia. And I do that sincerely with all my heart. I pledge my allegiance as an Australian and I always will. And as an Aussie, I love Aussie. I love Australians. So that's why I keep my channel. And that's why I don't talk about crap. You know, um, I don't talk about crap because there's so much crap out there on YouTube and they're all over the place. Why would you? I don't talk about things of fantasy. I talk about real life. Because as I said, there's a lot of people escaping real life now, reality. Escaping into a fantasy, you know, land. You know, Fantasia, animation. And a lot of it is now, has been more introduced in the year 2023 than there ever will be. Because that's what this year is all about is to design to mentally fatigue you. So you want to escape reality. You want to go into this world of illusion. Well, don't bloody well let it. And the way we can fight that is have our health system back with Medicare and working for the Australian people, the Australian Joe because we bloody well need it, it's important. Anyway, Oz, that's my little him ha niggle. Um, please, if you're having psychological or physical or substance abuse, um, reach out to 1-800-RESPECT. They're a big organisation, a lot of people out there that will help you. So please, L, Lifeline, 
Um, I will leave the descriptions, uh, the numbers and that down in the descriptions. But, I mean, have faith, have hope. I know it's going to be hard in the year 2023 because, as I said, this year is designed to screw ya. Oh, how many people have I spoken to said, yeah, this is this year is designed to just screw you to the wall. So you're so, you know, you're either zombified through the devices, you want to escape to reality, you know, an illusion, fantasy land, or otherwise you're depressed trying to fight that shit to get a normal brain. And what doesn't that affect? Everything. It affects everything. Quality of life, everything. So, you know. But, um, I hope you enjoy my tubes. People over the other side of the world, I hope, you know, my blessings and thoughts go out to you. That's all I can say. And, um, I hope you enjoy my tubes. And, um, look after yourself. Get in contact with your neighbours. Have a, you know, a cup of tea or uh, a beer <laughs> or a wind chag. Get to know people in your neighbourhood. Form reliance. And that way you're helping each other. You're helping your neighbourhood. You're helping people out. Because, you know, we live in a wild, wild world now. And, you know, as I said, stranger danger wasn't only for little ones. It's for adults now because we don't know how, you know, unpredictable life can be. And I believe if you get to know your, your neighbourhoods and, as I said, form reliance and, you know, little things that you can do together as a, a neighbourhood, it's a damn good thing, you know. So please, you know, as I said, have a cuppa, have a bitch, have a beer, have a wind chag, even get yourself the street going with a once a month barbie or something, you know? So, you know, it's good to care about one another. And as I said, um, Aussie, Aussie people, you, I know you care about one another. We all care about one another. And I wish the government would feel the same and embrace that caring and uh, show the Australian people they really care by addressing the matters of Medicare because the Australian Joe needs them. And the uh, Labor government, you got in with a whole lot of promises. So there's a whole lot of people in the nation looking towards you to resolve them. And one is Medicare. Doesn't take much and the Australian people expect Medicare to be addressed and not only to see a doctor but if they people need to see a specialist or they need counseling mentally mental counseling for you know uh to talk to somebody to to just vent i mean it doesn't cost hundreds of dollars to see a psychologist or psychiatrist or does it? Yeah, it does. And it doesn't have to be that way. We're mental health here in Oz for the year 2023 is so more important than it ever has been. So Labor, fix bloody Medicare, fix the counselling for mental health. It's bloody important. And as I said, you know, the yes and no voice, it will be resolved. It will go on. But Medicare and mental health here for 2023 needs to be addressed now. Anyway, Oz, enough said. I will say my four codes. Respect, dignity, honour and integrity. They'll serve you well. Faith as well. Until next time, like, subscribe and comment. <laughs> but um, look after yourself. And um, have a good one. But just try and just, you know, don't take it too hard to yourself because this is a bloody hard year Oz is facing. And um, it's designed to screw you this year if you let it. 
Anyway, see y'all from Planet Australia. See y'all. Take care. Bye.